am very, very proud of this team and, and what you showed. The thing that you have to understand is this is our turn. This team is going to do some special things this season. Go out and play Maryland basketball, right? You play harder, you play more confident, and you have a ton of fun. Every one of us has to step up tonight. Yes! Yes! Gotta go out and show them what kind of team we're gonna be. Um, I think all of you guys uh, earlier, did you not meet our guest coaches? Um, during she run today, I'll meet you guys, I think, okay. Um, and obviously, you know, these guys have been here year in and year out, have done a ton for us in terms of their support and their enthusiasm and their passion for, for women's basketball. So before I get started, I want to take a couple minutes. I'm putting them on the spot. They don't even know this is happening. But um, in, in case any of them wanted to, to say anything back to our team. <coughs> Anybody want to say anything? I just going to say, I was thinking, watching you guys play and thinking about your coach here. And uh, one thing about your uh, blonde coach over here, you might not know, and that is every time you guys have a turnover, she gets another gray hair. <laughs> so in addition to all this stuff, you, tonight you should try to keep Brenda blonde. <laughs> I, like that. I like that. Near side, Coleman, three-pointer is good. Across the lane, kicks it out. Coleman, long three is good. Started five for five from beyond the arc. I mean, is that one of those things where you're you're feeling it kinda or what? Yeah, I was just feeling it today. After I had knocked down the first couple, I just <laughs> kept shooting it. Newman kicks it out. Coleman wide open. Look, top three as good. If she were to receive rookie of the year, she understands that it means a lot more responsibility. She was a little girl and she said to me, Dad, I want to be really good. We didn't talk about playing, we talked about all of the mental and emotional aspects were coming to being recognized as a good athlete. And it's something that occurs not only on the court, but off the court. She is absolutely on fire. Pass inside Laura Harper. She's doubled across the lane. Playing one up and doing. She's got 1,001 points for her career. She becomes the fastest player in Terrapin history to record 1,000 career points. Congratulations to Crystal Langhorn. And I was like, congrats, Lang, and she looked at me and was like, for what? I was like, a thousand points. She started smiling. She was like, I didn't even know. All eyes on me. All eyes on you. Did you purposely not tell her? Um, yeah. I, I mean, uh, you know, I never want to tell a player when they're getting close to anything because I think then sometimes you press too much and, and mentally start thinking about it. So, um, no, I wanted it to, to be a nice surprise. Surprises are good. And, uh, and it worked out that way. I mean, it feels, I feel, it feels great to, to know that Crystal's such a great person and, and she deserves it and she works hard. All right, Crystal! I mean, we're just excited for her, and um, she's obviously going to do great, great things here in Maryland and continue to get better. 44 to 29 is the way the first half ends. You're listening to Maryland Terrapin women's basketball. You better eat those right now. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> good. Cheetos is not good halftime food, so I have to stand there and make sure nobody touched the bag. You won't eat no Cheetos at halftime. Stick is supposed to be a massage, a massage stick. But I was going to use it as a weapon <laughs> if I see anybody go near the Cheetos. Just to say Cheetos are good. They're not good halftime food, though. I was joking. We don't eat Cheetos at halftime. Ain't nobody eat you Cheetos. You know what I'm going to say right here and watch y'all. Yeah. You can't watch all of this. Let's go! I'm really excited by the fact that we were able to get everyone into this game and everyone scored. Turns across the lane, Ross up the lane. For the rebound, kicks it out, Norris. 15 footer from the corner is good. Newman down the lane, hop step, a tough off balance shot. Here comes Duran up the floor. A couple crossovers down the lane, left handed layup is good. 
Here's Perry at the top, right inside the three-point line. She'll take the two and hit it. And, and it was just a tremendous team win to be able to see that kind of unselfishness, us moving the ball, uh, working together as a team. And, uh, you know, we all work extremely hard. It's great to be able to see um, everyone be able to get into this game and contribute. Eight seconds remaining. The Comcast Center crowd will come to its feet and give the Terrapins an applause here as they will move on to victory. 89 63, a school record for most wins at home in a season. Uh, this team is, is a special team having a special season and uh, seems only appropriate to, to break another record. I feel it's great to show you where this program is returning to, you know. We're trying to go to the Final Four, and it's, I think all these things that we're accomplishing this year is really showing that. Somebody made a delicious cupcake. Awesome. Like, it's just like that. That's improvising right there. You see how we do it? Just like that. Watch. Watch. Oh. I said this last year, and I'm going to tell the girls this, and I'm a strong believer in this. Uh, I said at the end of last year that I think our girls will make it to the Final Four, and uh, I'm going to stand firm on that. This is when we're supposed to be peaking. Like, this is it. This is the end of the season, so let's bring yeah. our minds on Saturday. Terps on three. One, two, three, Terps! I'll tell you, the, this game was important uh, for a lot of reasons. First and foremost, it was senior day, and uh, we really wanted to send the seniors out in, in a winning way, their last home game. You know, uh, extremely proud of Charmaine Carr, and Charmaine is someone who, you know, every single day comes ready to work, has been a tremendous vocal leader for us. No tears, no tears. No, 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 no. This is a happy day. Congratulations. Um, has meant a lot to our program and uh, I'll tell you Angel Ross is, is another senior to, to think uh, how fast it's gone by in her four years and uh, came into this program she didn't know what to expect with a new coach and I uh, came in here and uh, has done everything we've asked and then some. Uh, it was kind of like a, a little flashback to uh, freshman year because me and Angel both started our freshman year and it was sentimental because uh, all my teammates were so happy for us. Uh, a really wonderful thing to see our scout guys all dressed up and uh, really participating in senior day and taking ownership uh, with this team. Who's dressed the best? Clearly me. Oh no! I got, the, I got I got the know. spring pastels on. It, it's not spring. As much as I love them, let's be honest, I love them. <laughs> they don't receive any of the attention or the or the glory, but uh, the satisfaction to know that they've helped the the fourth ranked team in the country to to achieve the best that they can possibly be. They asked us if we wanted to, and we said no. We wanted to leave the focus for the players. We want to stay in the shadows, you know. The managers worked for four years, the players worked for four years. We came in just working in practices. You know, we're there, we want, you know, they thank us, you know, outside, but we don't need everyone else to know that what we're doing. Senior day for me, um, it's exciting for me. It's their, watching these girls, it's their last regular season game. Uh, it's kind of surreal. My last regular season practice was yesterday. Um, I'm not going to get to do it again. It's been one of the greatest ex experiences I've ever had, and I'm going to miss it when I get when I graduate. Well, I just do whatever these guys tell me to. They're the elder, they're the elder statesmen here, and it's been a real honor and a privilege to play with these guys. I mean, and they just treated me like one of the guys right away, made me feel welcome. Yes, Ashley. Ashley. Tremendous win, all right? Tremendous win, and, and what a, a great day for our seniors to be able to remember, all right? You always remember when you go out on a winning note. We got the reception upstairs for the seniors. We're going to go up there. Steps on three. One, two, three, two. One, two, three. I'm Angel's cousin. Yeah. They're bad. Great day. Ladies and gentlemen, if we could have everybody's attention up front, that'd be terrific. I mean, I want to thank everyone who's been so supportive of um, me, myself, and Charmaine throughout my four years here. Um, thanks the rebounders, the support staff, coaching staff, academics, um, our fans, my teammates, <laughs> of course, my mom, 
I'm here with my mom. She comes to like every game. She tries to. Joe, she tries. I'm Audrey Ross, Angel Ross's mother. She's learned how to survive in a team environment, in a, a campus environment, which is basically a miniature sample of what life is going to actually present to her. Could you sign this, Angel? Um, she's learned to get along with all types of people in all types of environments. And she's traveled a lot, seen many things, and, and met many people. Angel basically said everything that I wanted to say. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm still going to say because I, I really do mean it from the bottom of my heart. Um, everybody in here has been here since, since freshman year to now, when we were just 10 and 18 to now that we're 26 and 3. And I'll leave out here with the great memories that I'll never forget. Um, I want to thank the rebounders, uh, the staff, um, Coach B, um, my family, and uh, most importantly, my mother. Charmaine, it's going to be an adjustment for Charmaine. She was just talking about all the wonderful times she had here, a lot of the special things that she was able to do here, and the recognition that she got just when she went outside of Comcast um, was so exciting, and she said that's going to end in kind of her <laughs> somewhat, um, you know, she'll feel a little sad about, about that. I'm not really trying to get emotional right now because it's not over yet. We still have games to play, but I just, I thank all y'all. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>
So I'm just looking at her screaming, and she looking back at me like, what's your problem? It kind of was like unaware of what happened until I looked, actually saw my knee. So then she looks at her knee, and then she freaks out. I was just in shock. And then like everybody just starts running away from her. I don't know why. <laughs> Some people went for help. Everybody just ran away, so I'm walking towards her. And I, and I didn't run away when I saw it because I didn't want to freak her out any more than she was already freaked out. Some people would just try to get away from that hole in her knee. And then, like, uh, finally somebody came and, like, everybody was just, like, freaking out and kind of crying and just, like, just scared. Like, it was just, I had never seen an injury like that. We thought Angel would never walk again. That's how bad it looked. I've worked very hard to get back from that. I mean, it's not easy going through the psychological, through the physical, you know, the rehabs and getting back in the repetitions, but I think I've done a good job. And I've done a good job in keeping, keeping my spare tie throughout the whole thing. It really shows uh, what, what type of person, what type of caliber person she is because she's not going to just quit on us. She does what it takes to, you know, to work hard and get herself to the optimal point to help the team in whatever way it is possible. Coming off of the knee injury, um, being able to stay positive, um, not going down that feeling sorry for yourself way. Just trying to leave from the bench and pepping everybody up, just stepping outside of yourself, not worrying about what's going on with you and your knee, but trying to, you know what I'm saying, uh, make sure that you're on the bench screaming as loud as you can for your teammates, pumping everybody up. Throughout this, I've learned that I am a lot mentally stronger than I thought I was. You know, being able to accept my role and accept the fact that I am not 100% in my senior season and still be able to keep my spirits high and still have the same goals that I've had before, you know, as far as trying to be the best players I, I can be for this team. Keep working hard, don't become complacent, and also, you know what I'm saying, just stay together as a team. One thing that I would pass on to my teammates, I think I would leave the, the confidence to to keep believing in the system. Well, I know when I came in, when, when Shay, Deron, and Kalika France came in, and like uh, Harp and Lang and all them, like no one really believed in the Maryland program but those who came to the school for a reason to make a change. And to have that confidence not to fit the mold that everybody else wanted you to go to, like the, the, the Yukons and Tennessee, and to take a chance, like I would like to, I would like to leave that, because um, I think that's what's going to keep making the program excel. Having the confidence to step out of the mold and do what you have to do to make this program successful. Ever since Brenda came, since they've been here, just the improvement every year is just getting great. We've been season ticket holders for two years. We've been with them, been with them since the Paradise Jam in the Virgin Islands. Thank you. So much. It was a great atmosphere. We got a lot of got a chance to spend a lot of time with the girls. Great game against Tennessee. Good luck, Kat. Hey, how are you? Right, very good, very good. It's it's an amazing transformation. They're a lot more mature. They play unselfishly. Um, they got a lot more confidence than they had back then. I think they believe they're a top four team. We've changed so much from the begin beginning of the year to now. So I mean, just uh, to see that progression of, of this team is, is really going to carry over in the postseason for us. It seems like I've seen the progression in terms of them developing their plays. For Charmaine Carr, inside right block, Perry kicks it out to Ron. Swung around Newman, wide open look for three, and she nails it. Notice individual players such as uh, Crystal Langhorn and Laura Harbour really going uh, going to the basket. Lob pass inside Langhorn, no good on the first try. She puts it up again. She gets it. And really being aggressive about getting the rebounds. Harper with the rebound, up good and one. I like that desire and that passion that I didn't see at the very beginning of the season, and it's really coming out now. I've never had a season like this, you know, winning so many games. So um, it's a new feeling, but it's a great feeling, and hopefully we'll keep it up. They're playing really well, and they're a great bunch of girls. And you can tell by watching them, they're having a good time. Oh, this is a great team. This is probably the best team since I was going to school back in 91, 92. And uh, it's just awesome to see how the program is taking off. When it's all said and done with, what we do now is what everyone's going to remember. So it's time to make that stance, you know, that statement. I think the ACC tournament is key. It's going to be, a, I mean, a competitive one. I mean, anyone we play in the first round is going to be really good. And it's just going to be tough. We have to stay focused. And, uh, I mean, hopefully we can we can pull this out. We have to, we'd have to beat basically two number one teams. And, I, you know, the greatest thing is knowing that we can do it. I don't think Duke's going to take us three games this year. 
Um, I'm not worried about North Carolina as much as I have with Duke, but um, I feel that um, we're going to take Duke in the tournament. We'll take the tournament. We're going to the Final Four. Top of the conference in the country. So, I mean, you got one, two, three. Personally, I think we have the top three teams in the country in our conference. So, it's going to be an exciting tournament. It's going to prepare us a lot for the NCAA tournament. And uh, it's going to be fun to watch. Duke and Carolina will be tough, but they should do really well. It'll be a great experience. They're a young team, so everything will be great. Everything after this will be great for me. I think they have every possibility of, of making it through, making it through the NC, ACC and the NCAA. Oh, I think they have a great chance. I think they could go all the way this year. Woo! Oh, I think they're going to tear them all up. Um, I'm extremely proud of this team and, and what they've accomplished, and I still think there's bigger things and greater things left for us to go and get. They just have to be hungry enough for it and go get it. they got to take it. It's not going to be given to them because they're up against some women who can play some b-ball. Hopefully they'll give us a number one seed. We ought to get a one seed. Yeah. We, we deserve a one seed. I think they'll be set. If whatever kind of big game jitters they have should have been out of the way. They've already played Tennessee, Duke on the road, Carolina. They've played in front of thousands of folks. So they're battle tested and I'm definitely looking for them to at least put a run onto the final four. I think we're going to win the championship. We just play whoever comes in front of us. It's one and done from here on out. You know, there's no more slip ups, no more second chances. It's it for us. Nine games left. We're ready for it. See you all in Boston.